Hello there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when we are addressing the most common questions and issues regarding SQL Server and Azure SQL. Now, in a previous episode on this YouTube channel, I hope you're subscribing in order to make sure that you're getting notified about all of the new videos that I'm publishing. We talked about how to create an Azure SQL database from scratch in the Microsoft's next, 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 next finish way. Now, today I wanted to extract a little part from that video to show you how to connect to Azure SQL database, because this is the question that you're seeing quite often on every single forum on, for junior DBAs. So let me just jump straight to it. In here, you can see that I have my Azure Data Studio. And what I want to do with this Azure Data Studio, I want to create a brand new connection. I will be connecting to Microsoft SQL Server with the following parameters. Now, I need to connect to a server. I need to know what is my server name. Now, in order to learn that server name and the server, let me remind you, the server in Azure SQL uh, scope, it's just a virtual container for the Azure SQL databases that I'll be connecting to. So in order to learn about that server, I need to go to my Azure portal. And on my Azure portal, if I'll go to my SQL databases, you will see that I have this uh, demo database in here. And boom, once I open that demo database, on the right hand side, you will see that there is a Ludwig C demo database windows.net. And this is my server name. Now, if I'll copy that server name and go back to my Azure Data Studio, Boom. All it takes right now is to just paste this server name, provide it with my SQL login, assuming that when this database was created, I chose either the SQL authentication or SQL and Azure Active Directory authentication, provide it with my username, provide it with my password, boom. And right this very moment, if my authentication went through, I will be able to uh, expand my databases and connect to a database right away. Even if I didn't choose that particular database right away, the Azure Data Studio would list all of the uh, available databases. There is master, DB, master database and demo database right now. I can double click on demo and I can see it in here right away with all of the contents of it. So all of the views and all of my tables that I can start exploring. On the left hand side in my server list, I can expand my databases and I can expand my demos. I can expand my tables and views the very same way and I can just right click it, set, select top 1000 rows and voila, that's it. It doesn't get any easier unless there is a connectivity issue. So in the very next video that probably YouTube will play for you in just a moment, you can learn how to... <coughs> Sorry, you can learn how to whitelist your IP address in order to fix the connectivity to your Azure SQL if you cannot log in through the Azure Data Studio. So again, don't forget to subscribe and go to SQL Bootcamp online and leave your email address in order to get notified when the brand new videos are being uploaded. So I'll see you in the next episode and on SQL Bootcamp online.